Hi, this is a tutorial to show you how to take your ABC photographs, put them in square format, and um, put them in a grid using Google Doc. Um, you can use any document program. I don't really care. It's just you need to put them in a table, and it needs to be organized. And you know, they don't have to be exactly. They don't have to all be put in a square. I just want it to be all the same. So if you notice these examples that I gave you, it's very neat. It's very organized and that's what I'm looking for. So here we go. We're going to use Google Doc for this. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my page setups and I had already changed these, but when you go to page setup, you'll see that by default, for some reason, they set these to one inch margins and one inches is quite large and you don't need it to be that large. So to give you some more space to work with, so that you can keep it all on one page. I'd, I'd suggest that you could do maybe a half inch on the top and bottom and maybe a quarter inch on either side, so left and right. Now, it's really up to you, but that's what I suggest. So you can change this later too. So if you get all your images put in the table and you're like, oof, I'm still going beyond one page, um, then you can come back and change this and see if that helps. So next thing you're going to do is going to say insert a table. So there's 26 letters in the alphabet. We know five times five is 25, so that's not quite enough. So we're gonna go um, five times six. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to insert an image in each of the cells. We don't want to drag and drop anything into the cells because what will happen is it'll appear to all be nice or nicely organized into each of the cells but then for some reason when you save it and upload it to Schoology um, they they'll, it'll oftentimes stack all the images or arrange them in all in this just really weird funny order and it doesn't work very well so I, it, I suggest that you insert each photo so you go into insert Go to image so i'm going to upload an image from my computer because i i don't have any elsewhere um, you could also take them from your google drive too but i don't know what i have on here for pictures either so we're going to use aiden strong's picture and i don't have any alphabets we're just going to pretend that these are alphabets now this is an image that is um a little bit longer so it's in a landscape format and if I want it to be square I'll show you how to do that so if I click on the image I get this blue bar and blue little anchor points around it if I grab those anchor points and I move and move it it is going to enlarge or resize my image okay I can resize it bigger and it's cut off right now because I would need to move my cell side over to see that see it all um, now if i want it to be square so say my letter i don't need all the space if i double click on the photograph you'll see that it changes from the blue to now these little black brackets on the side and little black dash marks that is the cropping tool and so now i can make it a square and i can click on the image and i can still move the image around to recenter it and now i have it cropped click off of it and now I have it cropped into a square. I can go back and move this back over and continue with the rest. Um, this might be too big to get all of them on here because if you notice, look at the sizes are all different now and so it's not gonna be even. So most likely I'm gonna have to keep it a little bit smaller but I just wanted to show you that you can resize, you can double click and crop your images right in um, Google Docs. Also make sure that you put your name at the top of it and also you always give a title and that's all you gotta do. Pretty simple. So make sure you ask questions if you have any. Other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching.